This is a uh, Lewis machining tool, 10 and a half inch, with a VTAC 9 inch rail. It's got a Surefire 212 suppressor. Running a Blue Force Gear Ready Mod um, dual magazine setup. Have a Tango Down Arc Mag and then a Magpul P Mag. Got on the top of this here the Volter offset scout mount with a Surefire G2 LED, the VTAC forget what it's called, but VTAC uh, rail mount QD sling swivel, Aimpoint T1 in a LaRue mount, uh, Aimpoint 3 power magnifier in a LaRue pivot mount, Troy front and rear sights, uh, Bravo Company charging handle, gunfighter charging handle, uh, Magpul CTR stock, Magpul trigger guard, and then this is the new Tango Down BG-17 grip, which is like the old ones, the BG-16, except for this is the BG-16, which is real thin throughout here. Uh, the new 17 is a little bit wider at the at the bottom here, so it flares out a little bit more. And then it comes up and is almost vertical in the back back here to increase the distance between the trigger and the back of the grip. So as you can see, kind of comparing them like that, these just came out yesterday. They're a brand new grip on the market, but Tango Down kind of went through and just enhanced it brought it up for a lot of people to increase the put their trigger in the right better place for some people by building up the material a little bit right there uh, another thing about the grip is that the bottom the, it still has a waterproof storage compartment but it has just one big compartment so there's a little more room to put NFA paperwork or um, different things like that I haven't tried a bolt in there yet uh, but the old style just has separate compartments two separate um, cylinders for batteries so a little bit different so far we like it um, again it's brand new just got it installed on the rifle a few minutes ago and got to take one out and go check it out and see but um, this also has a Magpul bad lever on it which is pretty handy feature especially when running with the ready mag drop the bolt The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.